Continuing news from China, Huang Qi, the founder of the human rights news website 64 Tianwang, was sentenced to 12 years in prison last year. Currently, his 87-year-old mother is terminally ill. She hopes to see her son at least one more time before she passes away. Despite the risk, hundreds of mainland Chinese citizens have joined a petition for authorities to release Huang Qi, so that mother and child can see each other one last time. On April 30th, Huang Qi's mother, Pu Wenqing, requested through telephone that authorities investigate the truth about the case against Huang Qi and give him a fair trial. Pu Wenqing also posted a statement online, the last confession of Huang Qi's mother, stating that she is suffering from a variety of illnesses and cancer has spread throughout her body. Her greatest hope has always been to see her son again in this lifetime, but she knows the chances are slim. The more important thing is that after I leave, I hope you guys will take good care of my son. My son is wrong. He was wrongly convicted by the Mianyang District Court, overturned the judgment. Ever since her son was imprisoned in 2016, Pu Wenqing, despite illness, has traveled around to advocate for her son's release and tried numerous methods to see him, all in vain. Even phone calls between the two are banned. Starting April 29th, some people initiated a joint signing on WeChat, urging authorities to release Huang Qi and allow mother and son to meet. Hu Guiqin, a co-signer, said that by that afternoon. 110 people had already signed the petition. Huang Qi has helped a lot of people. He's not anti-party or anti-China. He just wants the best for the country and for society. He wants safety for all people. However, the government does not act. The government does not want to solve the problems brought up by petitioners. Huang Qi thinks only of the country and wants society to be harmonious. He demanded that some problems should be solved. As a result, the government seeks to control him. Ms. He, an activist from Chongqing, said that many people have received help from Huang Qi. Huang Qi spoke for those who did not have a voice before he went to prison. She hopes that the international media will also help Huang Qi and his mother in their appeal. Huang Qi's mother is in poor health. As a mother, I hope she is able to see her son before death. This is also the law. The law allows for visitation rights. As an ordinary person seeing the situation, I'm very sympathetic to their plight and hope that the elderly mother will get her wish. Ms. He says that Huang Qi's mother has been under surveillance and is not able to go about freely. Now her cancer has spread, but she is still waiting for admission to the hospital. Miss He is worried that Huang Qi's mother will not live long enough to be hospitalized. The tragedy that has befallen Huang Qi and his mother has garnered many people's attention. Lawyers in mainland China have urged authorities to arrange a meeting between mother and child based on humanitarian concerns, and based on Huang Qi's physical condition, consider carrying out his sentence outside of prison. Huang Qi founded the 64 Tianwang website in 1999. To expose corruption and human rights violations, as well as discuss other sensitive issues occurring among Chinese Communist Party officials. As a result, he was brutally persecuted and sentenced twice to eight years in prison. In 2016, Huang Qi was arrested again. In July 2019, he was charged with deliberately leaking state secrets and sentenced to 12 years in prison.